Santa ji will just be joining you for the moderation of this session. Could we please have you on stage as well? Mr. Rajguru, the floor is yours. Over to you for this uh, very, very interesting session titled Future of News, Federalism and Free Press. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, all the guests, all the faces sitting here are very much familiar to you. You know all of them. And my face is, of course, not known to you. I am from Assam. I look after the editorial desk of one Assamese channel, namely Prague News. We have been airing Assamese news for the last 22 years. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this session's issue is federalism and free press. And while we are given the subject, the NVF had given us certain terms of reference. The terms of reference were very specific, mandate is very specific. We are supposed to discuss about the growth of regional media along with the growth of Hindi and English media. And NBF is very clear that the national media, quote unquote, does not exist at all. The term national media we have been using is actually meant for the Hindi and English media. There is no existence of national media as of now or as on date. Ladies and gentlemen, while discussing the federalism, all of us will appreciate that the very the term very very term federalism is a plural term, and the very idea of India is also plural. So you cannot detach federalism from pluralism of our nation. So while discussing the federalism. We must keep it in mind that the states were reorganized on the basis of language. And language has a very crucial role to play as far as the reorganization of states is concerned. Later on, in later late 70s or after 70s, some states were carved out on the basis of ethnicity like Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, etc., etc. So, the federalism, the parameters of federalism was one, the language, the state organization, sorry, state reorganization, number one, language, and number two, ethnicity. That reflects the plural and federal character of India. Now, my first question to Mr. Annamalai, the chief of the BJP, that one slogan or one narrative is making round in the popular notion that Hindu, Hindi, Hindutta. In that narrative, where is the space for federalism, Mr. Annamalai? Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, thank you so much for inviting me here. If there is somebody who is pitching this narrative sitting in Delhi, that India is a country of uh, people sitting in Delhi and deciding what narrative people should speak, I don't think anybody in the South is going to agree, or I don't think even leaders, many leaders in Delhi is going to agree with that. The problem is, in this age of information consumption, if 10 guys start peddling the same lie again and again and again, that it is only going to be this kind of country, this kind of party is going to do this, this kind of thing in a particular state, that driven by news channels, especially in the south, run by political parties. I come from a state where there are at least 12, 13 news channels run by five political parties. In terms of TRPs, the highest TRPs are claimed by news channels run by political parties, they have an agenda. 
For example, if there is a committee of official languages recently, which is doing rounds across India, in the report when it says, instead of Hindi in a category A state, it can be instead of English in a category A state, can be replaced by Hindi. And category state, C state like Tamil Nadu, English can be replaced by Tamil. Okay. This part is edited out. Only the first part is taken. And the news channels, they, they go to town crying that central government is trying to impose Hindi, somebody from Delhi trying to impose Hindi, nobody said it. But the only problem is the voice is higher. The voice is much larger. Because when you are, as I said, 13 channels, maybe 2-3 channels I see in the NBF board here from Tamil Nadu. Mm. That is why they have chosen to join this NBF federation. I think they are, they are also leading channels from Tamil Nadu. That needs to stop. It is not somebody is doing it. The noise some regional news channels create that is run by political parties to suit their agenda of divisiveness right from 1960 the same divisiveness you keep speaking over and over some bureaucrat in delhi writing some hindi letter to somebody in tamil Nadu immediately announced that as the central government's policy of everybody writing hindi to the state of tamil Nadu. that needs to stop sir i don't believe in that narrative but that narrative is being said by people who can't take on the developmental politics are people who can't take on the Honorable Prime Minister Modi ji. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Annamalai. Yes. Is your state, Tamil Nadu, is getting the adequate and deserving space in Hindi and English media? I think uh, more than the deserving space, I would say, many a times when the debate from Delhi happens, it doesn't happen with the correct narrative. When a uh, regional party in Tamil Nadu talks about the Dravidian development model, People don't have the patience, people don't have the understanding to go to get into it, behind it, see it, what it is. When Tamil Nadu talks about uh, the centre being against it, when DMK keeps making that statement, of course we get a space, it is not about the space, it is about the complete non-understanding of the issue at hand, not seeing from a Tamil Nadu perspective, not debating the actual points that is in the ground. In fact, I would say, with respect to the state of Tamil Nadu, it is over-represented many a time. Not especially from the Delhi, from the media space. I don't think any other state has got the number of channels that we have. Our state is a leading pioneer which has managed to marry news to a general entertainment, to a corporate. If you see, a corporate belonging to a political party owns some media. And not only is it a news channel, it will be a general entertainment channel also, which will showcase some movie. Then at 8 o'clock, they'll put a news. They have taken it to a different level. They know how to hook the audience, present the news. So, the fine lines of separation is not there between corporate, between a political party, between a news, it has all merged. And from the Delhi perspective, it is all the wrong narratives that people talk from the studio here, which actually doesn't resonate with the state of Tamil Nadu. That is my two complaints here.